The Prophet Yechezkel, Ezekiel, Chapter 3 He said to me, Human being, eat what you see in front of you, eat this scroll, then go and speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me the scroll to eat. As he said, Human being, eat this scroll I am giving you, fill your insides with it. When I ate it, it tasted as sweet as honey. Human being, he said to me, Go to the house of Israel and speak my words to them, for you are not being sent to a people with a difficult language and unintelligible speech, but to the house of Israel, not to many peoples with difficult languages and unintelligible speech, whose words you can't understand when you hear them. Without doubt, if I sent you to them, they would listen to you. But the house of Israel will not be willing to listen to you, because they aren't willing to listen to me since all the house of Israel are obstinate and hard-hearted. However, I am making you as defiant and obstinate as they are. Yes, I am making your resoluteness harder than flint, as hard as a diamond. So don't be afraid of them or depressed by how they look at you, because they are a rebellious house. Then he said to me, Human being, receive in your heart and hear with your ears all my words that I speak to you. Then go to the exiles, to your countrymen, and speak to them. Tell them, here is what Adonai Elohim says, whether they listen or not. A spirit lifted me up, and I heard behind me a very loud sound. Blessed be the glory of Adonai from his place. It was the sound of the wings of the living creatures as they beat against each other, and the sound of the wheels next to them, a very loud sound. So a spirit lifted me up and took me away. I went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit, with the hand of Adonai strong on me. I went to the exiles who were living in Tel Aviv by the Kavar River and stayed with them there in a stupefied state for seven days. After seven days, the word of Adonai came to me. Human being, I have appointed you to be a watchman for the house of Israel. When you hear a word from my mouth, you are to warn them for me. If I say to a wicked person, you will certainly die and you fail to warn him, to speak and warn the wicked person, to leave his wicked way and save his life, then that wicked person will die guilty, and I will hold you responsible for his death. On the other hand, if you warn the wicked person, and he doesn't turn from his wickedness or his wicked way, then he will die guilty, still die guilty, but you will have saved your own life. Similarly, when a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and commits wickedness, I will place a stumbling block before him. He will die because you failed to warn him. He will die in his sin. His righteous acts, which he did, will not, will, will not be remembered. And I will hold, hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the righteous person that a righteous person should not sin, and he doesn't sin, then he will certainly live, because he took the warning, and you too will have saved your life. The hand of Adonai came on me there, and he said to me, Get up, go out to the valley, and I will speak with you there. So I got up and went out to the valley. The glory of Adonai was there, like the glory I had seen by the Kavar River, and I fell on my face. A spirit entered me and put me on my feet. Then he spoke with me and said to me, Go, shut yourself in your home. Human being, you are going to be bound with ropes, unable to go out among the people. I will make your tongue stick to the roof of your mouth so that you will be mute, unable to reprove them, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with you, I will open your mouth, and you will say to them, This is what Adonai Elohim says, Whoever is inclined to listen will listen, and whoever is inclined to refuse will refuse, because they are a rebellious house. End of Ezekiel chapter 3